Hello guys, my name is Amin. In today's video learning SketchUp, I want to show you how to use the tag window. Tag or layer window, this is a very important location in SketchUp. It's going to help you organize your model, organize your layers, and basically give you a better understanding of what you have in your model. It's going to give you the access to color code them. It's going to give you access to turn the stuff on and off and the, basically just the control over all of your model and project. Let's jump into a SketchUp so we can review this very important window. In today's video, we're going to take a look at a very important window uh, which is tags it used to be called layers but it's been changed to tags and tags is going to work in conjunction with the entity info window the good thing about the tags is it's going to give you an ability uh, to organize your tags your model uh, geometry so anything that you create you put it under tags so if you create something in your model it's not under tag you won't be able to turn it on enough and if you have a lot of objects in your model and you keep adding it to it it basically create a lags because it's gonna uh, make the the size bigger and ultimately it's going to make uh, the sketch up lags when you keep drawing so i would recommend whatever you draw put it on the tag create a group turn them on and off per your needs and do make it clean so let's just start uh, all the items that we have here so the first one is going to be a tag so the first thing that i want to do i want to create let's say a fence so this is a method to naming items so i want to put site and the good thing about this you can name all the layers that you have and later on you can filter it so anything that's site related you can put it on one with the basically a prefix of side if you want to do uh, let's say if you want to use the number like put everything on zero for the side like your fence gate uh, restrooms lay down area like all of those you can put it on side or zero and one is going to be a building one or building one so you can kind of Per your project needs, you can create a specific tool or specific naming convention to put all of your items in one area. So let's just do, let's say zero. So I'm gonna put all the side stuff on zero. I'm gonna start with fence, which is gonna be um, real quick. I'm gonna create a really fence right here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to um, the offset let's say six inches what i'm gonna do i'm gonna get rid of the inside of this and right now i have everything around and let's just put a couple of gates right so let's say i'm gonna go to the two so let's do this let's do that one and then let's do another gate over here let's do another gate right there I uh, want to show you what I'm going to do just a bit. So I'm going to do another one, call it zero. Let's just put gate. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my tool and I basically raise eight feet. So this is going to be my gate going up. This is going to be continuation of my gate we know that's uh it and then i have the gate so right now i sort of created a fence uh to kind of go around the building uh so you guys can see that i have not put any of these in the layer because if i turn stuff on and off it's just nothing goes away right so the reason that i want to show you that what is the good thing about doing this so right now i'm going to go back down to layer because it's going to be when it's a line it's going to be really easy to basically uh select them so what i'm going to do i'm going to just select the fence i'm going to double triple click all of these uh line that i have so i can select just just the fence right so i'm gonna select fence hold control select fence so right now i selected all the fence 
put them on a group. So when they're on a group, I can you see as soon as I create a group, the entity info shows up and it's going to tell me the group one. So I'm going to assign this to fence. So the next one, I'm going to go back and kind of select these gates. So I'm going to select this one. I'm going to select this gate and I'm going to select this one. So I'm kind of triple clicking to select everything around that areas. So when they're done, right click, create a group, and I'm going to put them on the next tag, which is going to be zero gate. So right now what I'm going to do, go here, gate. So you can see right now I can turn off on like how easy it is to remove those right uh, to work and then when I feel like I'm good I can kind of right now go into uh, basically uh, raise them the one thing is when you create a group you cannot you see how it basically when I go on top it give me um, an um, kind of basically an anti command tell me it's not going to work because that's a group so I need to go inside the group to raise it up so right now I go says okay what is that eight feet I'll just do it this piece match that one this piece match that one and I'm done and then next one I can go to my gate inside I can raise these up raise that one up and you guys notice how these ones the gates are looks like I can work on it without affecting the fence and the fence are not uh, it's kind of grayed out so I would be able to do it and one a few things over here first create a group entity shows up is going to tell you what it is what layers is on all the volume and everything and the good thing is like you cannot anything that is grouped is going to go under layer anything is not group is going to stay under the tags untacked basically so and then these let me make these a little bit bigger so you guys can see so this pen right there it shows that anything that I create if I do not put it on a layer is gonna go to this untagged layer so this is basically my core and layer anything draw not assigned goes to untagged if I want to create something I'll just need to create it layer uh, group assign goes on that tag not assign just keep drawing stuff is gonna all go on top of this so right now when I kind of create all of this it's gonna be easy to you know turn stuff on and off so the other thing right here that we can see is a folder right so what we can do is you can even make it more organized just put the side so this is just a folder it's not a layer so you can kind of put that and then like drop items under it uh, and then these is going to make it so much easier for you but if you if i turn this side off it's going to turn both of them off if you want to do it one by one you need to go inside the folder so you can use the folder you can use the naming convention to clean up your model the next one that I want to take a look at that is basically these defaults. So if I click on the defaults right here, it's going to give me a line type. So if I select any type of uh, kind of line type, it's going to turn that object that I created with the dash line. So anything that I create is going to go to the dash line right now. Let's say I want to create. Um, let's call it zero lay down area for example so I want to put it under so right now it's under untagged right so it's basically I cannot hide this this is under untagged because that's a current layer and I get the notice right so right now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna select the whole thing create a group put here put it on a gate layer for example so as you can see as I put it on that it's gonna change the dash line because that's a default that I selected right so if I go back again and I put it on lay down area 
it goes away because right now it's part of these laid down tag and not that one so this is basically you'll be able to see you can change the default of any of these items to a desired line type if you have a certain items you'll be able to see the next one that I want to kind of show you right there it's basically these colors so tags is gonna color code the tags for you what I mean is first of all you can kind of click on it and select um, like a different type let's say I want to do uh, like this one let's just make it a little bit like yellow let's just do gates uh, there you go and I have the layout so if I go to these uh, you see like a multiple it says color by tags as soon as I click on this it's gonna color code it for me based on the items that I want um, and also if you don't want to do that you want to go to the line or default you can move that so the main thing is I want to show you how you can easily color code your tags and the good thing is right now anything that you want to draw from now one right so let's say if I want to draw I don't know let's say um, equipment here select make a group and I if I come here put it on let's say get uh, lay down is gonna turn it into the same color so I understand exactly what that item is so you can see how fast I can create the fence gate lay down area I uh, basically color code them very very easy to do that uh, let's say I have uh this options right there so this is basically it's going to be easy to expand all so you can kind of expand all the items if you have multiple uh folder you're going to open all of them if you want to collapse them you can see how it collapsed that and then the next one is going to select all the tags and this is a purge so purge taking away a layers that you do not have any object on it this is really important sometimes you keep creating layers and you forgot to delete them and you have like a uh, hundreds of them if you don't want if you want to get rid of the tags that nothing has been assigned to it I think that's a great way to do and purge it so right now we have one two three that have object assigned but these tag I don't have anything on it right so if I hit purge it should take away that you see that that's gone because it doesn't have any other item on that one the other notes that I want to show you guys is if I want to delete something, right? So I want to delete this tag. I get um, a message. This is really important. So it's basically it's telling me you already putting the fence has an object assigned to it. What do you want to do it? If you want to delete this tag, you want to assign the geometry under the fence to be assigned to a different layer or you want to just delete the whole thing so if you want to delete the whole thing like if you want to delete the geometry if I want to delete the fence and I also I want to delete the whole uh, basically layer I just select delete and it kind of takes away the whole item but right now let's say I want to create another it says fence area one so I want to put because right now this one nothing on it so I want to put these fence on this I want to delete that so I want to delete I'm going to come over here you can see it's already shown I'm going to select this and right now it's going to delete the fence that we had the color that we selected that's a the color that you can change and right now it's on fence area one and then you can go and adjust the color let's say if you want there you go I have a different location so if you want to right now add these to that folder you can kind of go and move it to site folder so you guys can see how easily you can by creating a naming convention creating folder and the good thing organize your model and also you can color code it real quick adjust the color you can also go to the material and assign a color to it but this is the fastest faster way 
to basically assign those color and easily you can see all the colors that you have here matches whatever layer you have the last one that we have over here is a tag tool so i really liked it this is this works like the painter in word excel or any other the microsoft one that you basically you can assign so let let me do let's say another lay down area right here so if i click on this uh, tool called tag tool it basically you can read it here it says select or sample a tag to beginning uh, tagging so i'm gonna say the item that I want to create, I want to have all the properties that this one has. So lay down area. So I'm going to click on this. And when it's done, I can go and click on this item. So you can see as soon as I click on it, it's going to be assigned to the tag. The line is going to go out and then it's going to be a good indication of exactly what I need to do on this one one little note make sure you group items because right now if i hide this you guys can see basically the lines is still in there because i didn't create a group and i didn't uh, put the whole group on it so only selected the surface so just be a little more careful about exactly what you need to do so if i wanted to do it again i want to make a group and then when when the group is gone and then assign everything to that tag then it's going to remove everything from here let me just go back to the original that i wanted to do so right now i'm not only selecting the surface i'm going to select the whole thing create a group this one surface just the whole thing and right now you can see it's all gone because i'm kind of selecting the whole uh just the whole group not only the surface because if you only select the surface it's going to take a just assign the surface to that layer not the line or edges so this is a really good tool that you can use and instead of keep creating items assigning stuff to it you can kind of have an item and then keep adding items to that by just clicking it and then you can kind of turn stuff on and off everything is coming back um, so a really recap on these items if you want um, if you don't want to have the uh, uh, colors you can kind of turn the colors on and off that's that's really simple and then create and tag assign a name make sure you organize them per area or per building or per uh, section whatever you have your uh, project anything that you do not put it on the layer is going to be untagged and on under these current layer so because that's a colon layer you can turn everything off but you cannot turn this one off because that's a current layer that has that pin on so if i want to move your current layer let's say to this then i can turn this off there is no problem but just pay attention with that penny so that means this is your current layer anything you create has these attributes and it's going to go on this layer unless you create another tag and assign it to that one so hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you like the video please make sure to subscribe and leave a like and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you for watching Thank you.